Sounds like murder mom's feeling more stabby than usual. Hey! Better not slice through anything in that cargo bay. We ain't restocking anytime soon. Harsh? Excuse me, I ain't the one advocating to throw us. Hey, Gamora. Go away, Peter. Oh, come on. Just thought I'd check in. That was some pretty heavy stuff you said earlier. Wanna talk about it? I don't need a pep talk. Okay. All right. No talking. Let's sing it out. What? Oh, 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 who's the hunter? Who's the game? You feel the beat? Call your name. Come on, I know you know this one. I hold you close in victory. I don't want to tame your animal style. You won't be caged in the call of the wild. Come on, sing it! Shooting at the walls of... Shooting at the walls of heartache. I hear. And heart to heart you win. <laughs> <laughs> See? Just singing. All right. I like that one. Gets me every time. What did you want to talk about? Want to talk about the guy whose arm you just ripped off? There's nothing to talk about. You chopped his arm off. And that's all I did. He's still out there with Nikki manipulating her with his slick lies and flarked up promises. Making everybody think... <sighs> we can't bring them back. Who did you see? In your promise? Got a feeling it wasn't Thanos. No one. Nothing. It was just a lie. Which is why we need to stop it. Right. I'm working on that. Just... Try not to slash the cargo bay in half. Watch it, Peter! You could fall on my sword if you're not careful. I am Groot. Quill and I don't need to make up. I am Groot. Maybe when Quill makes the right call and flies us far, far away from the church, I'll consider us formally even. <sighs> Shoo, Shoo, move over. What are you looking at? Oh no, you ain't chewing through any more of my ship. My ship? Shoo, flark off! Wow, that panel must have looked really tasty. What's it for, anyways? Emergency door controls for the ship. Something a ship owner should know. Hey, do I look like an engineer? You don't. Anything yet? Guardian of Galaxies. Cosmo, buddy. Where have you been? We've been calling you. Sorry, Pyotr Quill. Cosmos ball has been tied. Universal Church of Truth arrive at nowhere. What? Are you okay? He's fine for a moment. Cosmo receive warning in time. But Continuum Cortex is of shutdown for safety. He's been dead, huh? Your little detective trip almost got us killed. We'll fill you in when we get there. Yet. This problem is bigger than Cosmo. Guardian of Galaxies must go to Xandar and ask Worldmind for help instead. Cosmo unable to get through. Guardian of Galaxies must actually... Cosmo, are you there? What happened? I am Groot. So these are the cowards who defiled Lady Hellbender's honor. Oh, good. And who the flark are you? Normally, I would not engage in conversation with inferior life forms. But my contract with Lady Hellbender stipulates otherwise. Therefore, abomination. You may refer to me by my title. I am Captain Glory. 
Leader of the Lethal Legion. <laughs> a Lethal Legion? Uh, more like Loser Legion. <laughs> he surrounded us. Listen, I get that Lady Hellbender's super pissed, but now's really not the best time. Did you think that she would ease her bounty simply because you somehow managed to elude the Blood Brothers in nowhere? Yes. Then you are as imbecilic as they are. You will not elude me. That I can assure you. I just need a few minutes. Stall him, Quill. Why? Where are you going? Did you mute me? Why? <laughs> What? So, how much is Lady H offering you anyway? Is it like, a lot? Or are you making a counter offer? Maybe. Depends. What would it take? Nothing. Everyone's got a price, Glory. Even you. I don't expect those of lower races to understand the basic principles of honor and superiority. When I commit to a contract, I follow through. Always. Yeah, okay. So how much for your honor, then? I cannot be bought. Certainly not by low-life scum such as yourselves. I am Glavri of the Kree Empire, and I look forward to the day when the Kree race eliminates your inferior species. Spoken like a true Kree. <laughs> More like an arrogant a-hole. Enough! I will not be disrespected. You will be eliminated. Give it your best shot, Helmet Head. The Milano's gonna blow you out of the sky. <laughs> your ship doesn't have that kind of firepower. Scan again. Impossible. Just a little something we picked up in the uh, quarantine zone. Looks like you underestimated us. We'll see. Them hard and give them water. There's nothing on that garbage scow we're insulting. We're taking fire! Ah! <laughs> Got a piece of that guy! Try not to get shot, Quill! Flying, this sucks! Finish them! We're just getting started! Stay to dog tail. I would love to hunt you down. And feed your ego? No, thank you. Can't we just send an IOU to Lady H? I ain't paying that psycho a single unit. Feel free to show off, Quill. They insulted my baby. Just keep watching. Feels kinda good to have bounty hunters after us. Means we're making a name for ourselves, right? Normally this would be good practice, but Captain Creepy's timing is as bad as his costume. These ships ain't dying fast enough. That's a fixable problem. money did she offer these guys? Doesn't matter. She wasted her money. I am Groot. Stop barking orders, Groot. You don't even know how to fly her. Only one lethal lame brain left. One is all we need. That don't even make sense. We just wasted a ton of you. Inferior life form now, huh? St 
still you. Peter, I'm picking up something. What? It appears I'll have to finish this myself. So you defeated my fighters, but my cruiser will crush you. That's it? That's what you've been bragging about? What do you mean? <laughs> Nothing. It's... Well, I'm sure it's very comfortable. I will not be mocked! Then do something about it. Feel bad, Guardians. Nope, not a thing. The Milano definitely felt it. That did some real damage. Keep hitting his exhaust ports. Your strategy will work. Thanks. You just confirmed that it will. Moron. Protect our ports. This guy's starting to sound like Rocket. It's called language efficiency, Quill. Of the barrage, they will not survive it. You okay in there, Cap? Stay still, and I'll show you. Lady Skull Suit us the worst block in timing. Is she here? Ooh, right up the exhaust port. Ah! <laughs> He is really pissing me off! Doing us up, Quill! Oh. I am Glory, Warrior of. <laughs> Take that, Lady Skull Scut! I doubt we've seen the last of her. We'll worry about Lady Hellbender later. Let's just focus on getting to Xandar. Punch it! Yep. Old girl needs a tune-up. We can do it once we reach the station. I ain't letting no bucket head near my... Wow. Talk about cosmic gridlock. I haven't seen this many ships around Xandar since the start of the Galactic War. Open the channel, Groot. Let's see what's going on. I am Groot. Hard to leave. Power supplies are low. Need access to facilities. These ships come from converted worlds. They're refugees. Need immediate docking permission. Please answer us. Groot, that's enough. I don't see any rescue shuttles coming out. They're ignoring them. No. No, 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 no. Nova Corps might be a bunch of self-righteous dome heads, but they're they're supposed to be helping folk. That's their whole flarkin' deal. Relax, Rocket. We'll just call the station and ask to speak to the world mind. Groot. <sighs> Welcome to Novacore Headquarters. Please state your preferred language of communication. If you pick Creekwill, I'm gonna gnaw your ears off. I am Groot. I know, bud, but now we can all follow along with Starpants' mistakes. How, How may we assist you? We should report what Raker is up to. Think the Flarkin world mind doesn't already know? Just pick something, Peter. How about future crime? Great idea! Thank, Thank you for being proactive. However, the galaxy's impending doom makes all future crimes irrelevant. I suggest the officer's directory. Certainly the world mine will be listed there. I Groot. What do you mean the past crime button looks lonely? We are aware of the current threat, but can devote no resources toward fighting it. I am Groot. I can't believe this option doesn't work. This is the core they should be helping. Hey, Woolberry, got any ideas? We should tell them about the promise. Right, as if none of these other ships ain't already blasting about it all over the comms. Due, Due to, to the, the imminent termination of civilization, we are unable to open new cases. 
Do you think turning ourselves in would get their attention? No. no. Connecting, Connecting to banking services. Connecting to banking services. I can't believe that worked. Guardians of the galaxy. Explain, Explain yourselves. Hey, world mind. Long time no see. It's me. Peter Quill, Star-Lord. And, uh, it's Guardians of the Galaxy. Check the addendum. We need your help. To pay a fine? No. No, of course not. You need to save the, the galaxy. galaxy. cannot be saved, Peter Quill. What? A mass, a mass delusion known as the Promise is sweeping, sweeping its systems, converting, converting all who encounter it. In less than, than three cycles, it has spread from the crew of a single star frigate to multiple outposts, worlds, and systems. Praxis 9, Rigel 3. 75.222% of the Andromeda Galaxy, all lost. Of course, she don't mention Contraxia. Bay, actually, the world mine has collected consciousness. Look, we know who's behind the promise. We've seen it happening up close and personal. We're here to pass on information to you so you can stop it. How can we be more clear? The Universal Church of Truth cannot be stopped. Told you, they're a collective. It is a machine. Yeah, well, so are parts of me. And you better not call me in it. Look, we just escaped the Church's mothership. We have a ton of intel you can use to bring them down. There is nothing you can tell us we do not already know. Pretty sure I know a few things that even a supercomputer can't know. Such as? Well... How to groom the feathers on a Shi'ar warbird, for starters. How are you still alive? Well, because I know how to groom the feathers. Yeah, well, I know where you can buy hack Novacore helmets at ridiculously discounted prices. What? They obviously don't know about it, or they do something. Th the point is, we've lived things, experienced things. We've survived the promise, and maybe our experience can be used to help you bring them down. It is possible. We, we have, have overlooked, overlooked the value of individual experiential memories stored within our files. Good. So let's pull resources. However, given the ill-defined parameters of such a query, undertaking a search protocol at this time is ill-advised. If you will excuse us. The Universal Church of Truth's forces draw closer to this region of space. It is critical that we depart before they arrive. You're running away? What about the refugees? You're just gonna leave them defenseless? Our primary directive is the preservation of Xandarian culture. All else is secondary. <laughs> Ain't you seen what your planet looks like? Xandarian culture is a lost cause! But you're Novacor's leader. You have a duty to protect this galaxy. That is incorrect. You ain't the leader of the Bucketheads? We do, we do not, not have a duty to protect this galaxy. galaxy. We, we merely police it to get advanced knowledge of potential threats. Serve and protect only yourselves. A logical byproduct of our primary directive. You have officers all over the galaxy laying down their lives for you. And you won't even risk fighting for their sake? The risk is too great. It, it would be, be a pointless sacrifice. For unknown reasons. The Church is stockpiling resources. Its influence has grown beyond all probabilistic models. Then update your models. We, we cannot adjust, adjust our computations to the enemy's nonsensical power source. You mean faith energy? Faith, as an energy source, is illogical. We are unable to compute scenarios to fight that which should not exist. So you're just gonna let the church win? If, if the power, power source cannot be quantified, it, it cannot can be, be countered. countered. Most sentient beings don't have the luxury of calculating their odds before getting into a fight. That, that is why they fail. Don't you control the Nova Force? The magical energy that powers Nova Core? It... It's is not magical. magical. But yes. Then how do you explain that one? Because to an outsider, it doesn't seem logical at all. Thanos used to say it was generated by the living computers of Xandar. The, the living, living computers of Xandar are, are the Nova Force. It exists because we exist. exist. And we exist, therefore it does. Sounds like you're able to harness your collective energy just like Raker with other people's faith. 
Maybe the way you do it can tell you how the church does. Perhaps. You've given us new data to consider, Guardians, Guardians of, of the, the Galaxy. galaxy. We, we will. Later. Right now, we need to focus on our departure. You're still leaving? We did, we did not, not make this decision without considering all available options. A complete search of our databanks only revealed a single entity with the potential to stop them. What is it? Not what. Who? Adam Warlock, the Church's original Golden God. Unfortunately, he perished in the last year of the Galactic War. Great. So, no one? We are, we are pleased. You reached the same conclusion we did. It appears that our travel preparations are almost complete. Farewell, Guardians of the Galaxy. No, 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 wait! Classic Nova Corps. Ain't helped us then, you won't help us now. What? Are you kidding me? Groot says the Flarkin helpline's still asking for fine money. <sighs> All right, let's get this over with. Confirm payment. Oh, what? Whole universe is about to end, and you spend our cash on the Nova Corps fine. Look, dude, the church is about to come for all of us. Once that disabler goes off, we'll be sitting ducks. All right, at least we got that sorted. Let's get out of here. Peter, we've got movement. I'm Groot. They're taking off. Accepting the promise. We gotta jump, Quill. I know. Matriarch's promise is becoming real. Peter? Gotta get clear first. Come on. Come on. And go! What did you do? I don't know. Why have we stopped? The Loser Legion must have hit something when they ambushed us. I'm good. Guys, it's only a matter of time before the galaxy accepts the promise. Sacrosanct is back there. We can't just sit here. Nice. And how are we going to do that? We're dead in the flocking water. Even if they right. find that, we're screwed. screwed. Freely accepted. Oh, oh, yeah. And without an engine, we're screwed Guys, anyway. guys, guys, guys. Enough. Just stop already. I can't hear myself think. Rocket, fix the engines. How am I supposed to do that? I can't even run a diagnosis. No, I don't care. Just fix it. Scoff. And what are we supposed to do? I don't know. Okay? I can't just conjure up answers every two seconds. Fine. Don't. I just... can't do this right now. <sighs> I need some rest. Screw Nova Corps. Shouldn't have counted on them in the first place. Look, it's 
our great leader. Hey, Bluebird, you copy? I know you think that Gamora, I... Who's Bluebird? Who are you talking to? What's a Bluebird? It, um, was Yondu's call sign. He was Bluebird and I was the kid. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get this straight. Yandu Udanta, leader of the Ravager Space Virus, scourge of the Sirius system and all-around scoundrel, used Bluebird as his call sign? <laughs> Even had it embroidered on the back of his jacket. Amazing. It was amazing. Pretty much from the day we met. How did you two meet? Terrans and Centaurians aren't exactly neighbors. We met on Chitari Prime. About three years into my sentence. Wait. Yandu was a prisoner of war? I, I I thought the Ravagers were neutral. They were. And they also weren't. Yandu and I were cellmates. <laughs> First thing he said when they put him in my cell was, Boy, don't be going and getting attached. I'm just here for the food. And the food was pretty terrible, so... Yeah, that sounds like Yondu. I had cellmates before, and none of them lasted long. The Shatari have these... gladiatorial games, and... You got used to people dying. Not sure about that, but... I didn't expect anyone to last long. I also didn't have my translation implant back then, so I might as well have been alone. But Yondu? He actually spoke English. Said he'd offered to translate in exchange for extra rations. So even in the snake-infested hellhole, ever the schemer. It's something we had in common. I had been scheming for a way to escape since the day they took me. I just needed someone like Yandu to make it seem possible. How did you escape? <laughs> well, let's just say it was equal parts simple, complicated, and kind of embarrassing. But, it ended with the two of us delivering a transport full of stolen supplies straight into the hands of the Resistance. For a buck a load of units, too, I bet. Anyway, once we did, there was no going back. I was a Ravager. Mind if we put a pin in this? A pin? Pick it up another time? I should, uh, get back. Sure. Really? Come on, girl. Shoo, shoo. And the bed smells. Great. We have a ship. This is our room? Why is it so small? Look at you. Me. Oh. Weird hair. What? What is it? What is this? How are you... me? Come on. The talking raccoon's waiting for you. Everybody is. Uh, Rocket, yeah. He was... fixing that thing that broke. Hey, if 
we're some kind of big space hero now. Why are we running from the bad guys? <sighs> it's complicated. No, it's not. Stop running. And we've landed. Uh...